Let's Welcome go. to the Gain EXP podcast. This is a project that, uh, to be honest, we've been working on for a long, long time. This is mm-hmm. a podcast about anime, gaming, comic books, fitness, wellness, health, kind of anything else we it really, really want to focus. Yeah, really there was, anything. There was an episode on kangaroo balls, too. Yeah, so we, make we sure you say that. Traveling <laughs> kangaroo balls. Spiders a lot Food. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Fears. <laughs> Anything under the sun, it's just honestly a excuse for us to just have a good time, sit down, chill, and hopefully you guys enjoy us talking about stuff. But this is a uh, not our first rodeo on this one. Obviously, we were talking about a, a previous pod, uh, podcast. We've been doing this for more or less like four months now. And it's been longer than that. It's yeah. been like, well, I think it's closer to six now because I remember I posted in March. That was when we did our like first episode. Oh shit! And it's already October. So yeah, so <laughs> April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So like six and a half, probably. Yeah. So essentially, the reason why we uh, we're doing this as like an introductory kind of podcast, and the reason why we're doing that is because we felt like the first few that we did was mm-hmm. like it was a little. We, it took us, you know, it took we us to a little learn, bit. We yeah. had to learn a lot of like how not to speak over each other and how to like bounce ideas off one another. But we got it. So yeah. here we are. Episode, episode one episode, episode number one, one. not yeah. 17 <laughs> <laughs> 17 will be coming out way later yeah <laughs> but um i mean we have it yeah. we have it it's just in the in the arsenal <laughs> yeah so full disclosure this is not our first rodeo not our first podcast we wanted to just have a, a big bang type of set this is like all of our all of our collective money that we spent mm-hmm. <sighs> and our sad wallets yeah <laughs> pokemon plushies are mine anime figurines they're jordan's and then kayla made those in the front but yeah. you guys probably can't even see that so more, it's more or less <laughs> it's, it's more or less split in certain ways i have certain plushies riley also does but you can tell our favorite genres of certain stuff by here alone and we'll get into that a little mm-hmm. bit later on but yeah wanted to just make this as an introductory kind of like let's get to learn a little bit more about gain exp who we are mm-hmm. um who I am, who you are. I'm, oh yeah, duh. I'm Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, see, I'm, I'm so used to doing this. We've been doing this for a while that I forgot. Yeah, yeah we, we should introduce ourselves. It's like, so, that's a rookie mistake. Yeah. We got Jordan Al, and then I'm Riley Hertz, the Al and the Hertz and the, uh, and another, thing duo. Another rookie mistake, leaving your uh, notifications your, on. Your ESP is <laughs> on, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, we've been, we wanted to make an introductory one, and I think let's, uh, from there, I'm George or EXP. There's going to, um, or George or, and then my full name is Jordan. I prefer to be called Jordan, but you know, yeah. that's my username and we'll yeah. go over to, uh, yeah. Riley or. Yeah. So username is doggo. Uh, it's my internet name. And then my real name is Riley Hertz, which is awesome because his last name is Al and my last name is Hertz <laughs> and we're doing a fitness business or a fitness lifestyle brand. So we're like the Al and the Hertz crew, which is like, I promise. Super poetic, actually. Like, <laughs> I promise you'll have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our fitness uh, workouts are uh, definitely don't hurt at all. Yeah. I de- no 100%. Actually, I just thought about this. No one. soreness. Our challenge, like our challenge quest should be called the Al Hurts experience. It should. Al it Hurts yeah. experience. Like if we <laughs> if we should like branch off from superheroes, making fit- fitness programs around superheroes, gaming yeah. characters and anime characters. And we should just do like, our own intense ass like ninety day Owen Hertz like fitness regimen or some shit like that. Like the Spartan race, but like mm-hmm. oh yeah. uh, on that note, actually for the people who don't know who we are, just tuning in as a at a random podcast, uh welcome. Secondly, mm-hmm. let's explain how about you explain to us exactly yes. how uh-huh. and what gain XP is and how it got started. Yes, sir. So you actually find a video now on my YouTube channel where I also talk about this at Doggo EXP. But um, yeah, so we're with Gainy XP Fitness. We're a lifestyle and fitness brand for gamers, anime enthusiasts, and Marvel and DC enthusiasts. And the way, and what that means is that we make fitness programs. And basically, everything we do is centered around like gaming uh, characters like Squirtle, not yet, but maybe in the future, uh, Thor, um, any character you can think of from, from any gaming. For any video game, any any anime, or any uh, superhero film. And we base the characters and their movements on these different fitness programs. So 
the classic example is like we have a Thor fitness program out right now. You can check it out on our website at gainyxpfitness.com. And in that workout program, it's a very bulk oriented program with lifts that imitate like um, Thor's Mjolnir lifts. So we have like hammer bicep curls. And because it's a bulking program, we influence a lot of like our workout routines around like dumbbells and stuff because we want the the user to feel as if like they are Thor when they're working out as an example. But yeah, um, how would you, I guess that's the way I would describe it. What about you? Like, I anything think you want to add? I, yeah. I, I think I want to add like uh, there's a, so we enjoy all aspects of this type of like gaming and uh, anime and otaku. And so we wanted to really bring that to, we the original idea came out from like watching fucking Crims, Chris Hemsworth doing like a Thor mm-hmm. workout or like, uh, you know, or Tom Holland doing a Spider-Man workout. So we wanted to replicate that, but uh, not make it as hard. Yeah. Cause, Cause like, Tom Holland's crazy. It's fucking insane, dude. Like his pull up regimen is, is like insane. kind of next level. Like I'm like, Holy shit. How do you do that? <laughs> exactly. And, Obviously, someone who wants to work out like Spider-Man starting out, even in an expert level, they might not even be able to do that shit. And yeah. so, like, we wanted to make, not necessarily change fitness, but change the mindset of how fitness and working out mm. worked. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, I feel like, um, in general, people think about, like, sorry, I need to be away from the mic a little bit here. I think, in general, people think about, like, fitness is, like, one like subculture and then you've got like the gamers and the anime enthusiasts like kind of clumped in a different one so really it's just like kind of a fun like business for us to kind of bring those worlds together and like have them collide and collaborate and just like bring them closer to one another because like there's a lot of sim- similarities i feel between both groups like both are like yeah. super supportive people um and then both are like um to have uh, honestly the most uniquely humorous comedy <laughs> like yeah you can play on it a lot too yeah like they like i feel like the otakus and the nerds like like sense of comedy or like sense of humor is pretty similar. so similar mm-hmm. to like the like the fitness gym bros it's so much so much levels of self-deprecation that's <laughs> almost it's like it works though <laughs> yeah no for sure especially with anime fans like yeah they're definitely like super funny <laughs> yeah like ga- our gamers too is like oh when's the last time you touched grass and i was like oh shit yeah. good point <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, you could check out all of that information also on our website, like, as I mentioned before, gain and, or you can check out our Instagram pages as well. All of that will be on the description down below as well as pretty much on every single thing we are attached to. Yeah. Like ever. <laughs> we'll throw it at the end and yeah. the beginning. So there you guys go. And the bio, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, you got, you know, you got what you got to do and this yeah. type of shit. Yeah. Um, but it's it's just a it, it was a passion project that eventually became something that we really were you know wanting to pursue as a long term career and that's mm-hmm. why we're here and that's why we're doing this. We fucking moved. We, yeah. we we did we did as much as we can, and yeah, I think uh, I think we should start with a little bit about um, the actual origins of the idea. Like, how did mm-hmm. it come to be? Like, how did the businesses? And I think um, actually Riley was the one who came up to me with it. Yeah. I think like we cultivated the idea together. Yeah. Um, I think like the original idea though was really sparked from like it it was together because I think like originally, originally it sparked from you actually challenging myself and two of our other friends to like a fitness challenge, which was based around like a Thor workout or a Spider-Man workout. And it wasn't full fleshed workout programs. They were just fun ideas that you found on the internet and you were like, we should do this. And then we were like, Oh, why is no one trying to make money off of this? Like there yeah. could be easy answers for anyone to come up with, but I was just like, dude, someone should try making money off of this. Like this is a cool opportunity. And like, I think they were fun. Like yeah. I actually did them and I was like, this is pretty cool. Like yeah. they didn't have elements like we did where it was like, you did hammer bicep cur- curls for Thor or anything like that. But yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was really from that. I, that moment that it stemmed. And then I think it just sat in the back of my mind for so long. Cause I was like, dude, I'm just going to wait and see if any, I see anybody trying to do this because mm-hmm. like, I feel like someone's just going to come along and do this. Yeah. But eventually you just sit there and you're like, dude, why is no one coming along and doing this? Like, and then yeah. you want to be the one to be like, Oh, we should do this because if no one else is going to do it, then we might as well just do it. You know? So, yeah. I think another thing is that, um, we, uh, it, like during that same time, it was like a right after, right when COVID hit mm-hmm. and we both 
you know, you had gotten laid off. I was working a job that mm-hmm. I fucking hated. Mm-hmm. And we had this moment where fitness became such a big part of our lives where mm-hmm. I feel like everyone in COVID either lost like 15 pounds or gained yeah. 15 pounds. <laughs> and in like your good or bad way. It's like up to you. Mm. And so we both ended up uh, losing weight in the way we wanted. And then it, it was, and it just kind of sparked from there, mm-hmm. right? You, I was actually going to talk about that because I remember like the day too where it was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, we're going to do this was because, um, I remember it was like the day before Halloween. Um, and I got laid off, like you had mentioned from my job, mm-hmm. which is super disheartening. Uh, it was like COVID related or whatever. A uh, company just wasn't doing well at the same time. Like this girl I was seeing, like broke it off with me. And then there was like some family members that had like passed away recently. Oh, I forgot about the breakup. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> there was, dude. Yeah. There was like a breakup and then I had a family member pass away that oh, I was God. like, um, there was just like some family involvement and stuff. And so like, it all hit me on like that one day. I don't know why, but I was just like, I don't like where I'm at right now. And so then I just was like, I want to like finally step into like pursuing some idea. And then it was that idea that like we had like thought of that. I was just like, fuck it. And then like, I just, I remember like I drew up a logo. Um, I thought of like the name and then I just drew up a like shitty ass logo that looks nothing like our logo right now. I still have a picture on my phone. Dude, too. it was actually pretty sick. I want to use it <laughs> one of these days. It was actually really good. I have it. I have it on my phone still, but I'll post it on like the image right here. But I remember I drew up the shitty logo. It was like, um, <laughs> it was like a circle. It was like two arrows going in a circle, I think. And it just said Gainy XP Fitness or something like that. Or Gainy XP in the middle. I think it was because we were looking at like the... Uh, like um, The XP bars from like Final Fantasy. That's yeah, what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was also... Um, we were... It was... Uh, there was a fucking... Oh. It was the Deadpool. It was Deadpool that had like the cross in there. And we were, I remember we were thinking huh. about having a sword that went through. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Swords, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this was way better. Um, and you were the one that was like, we should do this because like... The first logo idea was like a two, it was like a circle that said gain EXP fitness in the middle. Yeah. Then it like evolved and it said like gain EXP fitness and it was shitty. So then I redid it and it said gain EXP fitness and it had like the Avengers A. Yeah. And a T block T from Tetris yeah. and fitness. And then it had the, the shuriken with yeah. the flower in the middle. And then you were the one that was just like, dude, the shuriken with the flower in the middle looks really good. We should just go with this. And yeah. we have the, we still use the big logo still, but everything's based on like the, the shuriken. shuriken now i mean i think that's like the same thing like business-wise pure business-wise like just like if anyone's ever thinking about logos part marketing stuff like like that it's uh think nike when you think nike you don't think of nike like the actual mm-hmm. word the nike word. you think of the swoosh and just do it Those yeah are and just do things. it right yeah. so that was the same idea is that you know we have the whole entire thing we use it on our website and everything but mm-hmm. It's like, what's, what's something eye-catching, you know? What's something yeah. that's eye-catching? It's like fucking ninja shuriken and then, yeah. like, sakura flowers going down. Like, it had to be cool, but it also couldn't be, like, too, like, edgy. Like, I wanted something that everyone could like, you Definitely. know? Because, like, the edginess is the the shuriken part. And yeah. then, like, the, the softness of the flower, I think, kind of pulls it together with a light blue color is, like kind of like a soft on the eyes instead of like a hard red or something so dude i remember i remember this i remember this man coming up to me and he was like all right I, this is my this is our gonna be our colors it's gonna be <laughs> black blue, and blue black and blue <laughs> and everything in my head was like riley <laughs> riley yeah i, I was like i was oh, thinking literally because i was thinking literally every other color that's like you know like bright red. and red and everyone like, uses red yeah yeah because it's like fitness wise like you know you want mm-hmm. to imply like, like fiery fiery like passion, passion or, or like yeah. you know when you think of uh yellow i kind of think of lightning like goes fast and then yeah. red is like fire it's like passionate and um or even like a uh, white, like a blitz of white, green, even because people yeah. use it like nature and like yeah, like touching grass, like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like ultimately, like I always just liked the light blue color. Yeah, um, it's just so like because in like when you go to sc- okay, we can talk about this in a second, but <laughs> when we when when I was in marketing. I went to Cal State Fullerton. I graduated with a marketing. We both did. We both did, yeah. Go Titans. And one <laughs> Tusks up, boy. Um, and so at Cal State Fullerton, one of the classes I took was one of my marketing professors. I believe it was Professor Dorsey. He uh, 
he taught me like, oh, this color should mean this and this color means this. And a lot of companies that are like, want their clients or their customers to feel secure, like they are safe, use like the color blue. And red is like a fiery, uh, squirtly passion. Uh, <laughs> sorry, for those, because not everyone's gonna see the video, there's a squirtle behind Jordan. Uh, oh yeah. But um, but yeah, so blue is like a color of safety. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I feel like that could work. And like, everyone likes blue. It's like, statistically, I don't know if uh, people know this, but statistically speaking, blue is the most attractive color to the human eye. Mm-hmm. People like voted on every color in the rainbow spectrum. Like, what's your favorite color? And most people picked blue. So I was like, okay, this makes sense. Like, Blue is such a weird color. And like, a, I know this is like nothing about our business in a certain way, but like blue is a very interesting color because you think of blue and the natural things that have blue is like, it's like calm mm-hmm. is one, right? Calming. Like is, the sky kind sk- of. Sky is mm-hmm. a big one. Like when you look up at the big blue sky, it's mm-hmm. like it has a calming feeling to you. Mm-hmm. The second one is the blues. It's like, you know, you sing sad music mm, or sad. feel sadness. That's in true. There. Like the blues. Um, or like a Van Gogh. Yeah, or something yeah, yeah. Like that. And then the other aspect is that it's fast and high speed because technically blue is hotter than red mm-hmm. and it's faster than yellow mm-hmm. in, in a certain case. Like purple lightning is like a thing and mm-hmm. blue lightning is a thing. It's and that's like it's a very interesting color because it covers a lot of different things, including uh, Riley's favorite football team. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say the Panthers definitely influenced me because uh, when we did it, it was during football season. But I definitely yeah. remember looking at the, uh, looking at like because <laughs> you was, uh, we were living together, but he was watching the Panthers game as we were working, mm-hmm. and I looked at the jerseys, and then I looked They're at our I looked at our logo, and I was like, <laughs> "You motherfucker." <laughs> um but dude like i always knew um i always knew blue was gonna be the color to pick though because i just i like you know how my brain works i was just like statistically speaking everyone likes color blue so we're gonna pick blue so like it just made more sense to me and for those listening the least fame um well actually can you guess it what's what do you think is the least popular color people voted like from of major like colors not like chartreuse like um, a rainbow color or like a dark um like a dark gray scale tone or like anything like that. Gray? No. So one more guess. What do you think? Uh, white. Okay. So the least popular colors were brown. Brown oh, was the least sense, color. Yeah. And then yellow is second least popular. Okay. And yeah. the top two most popular were blue and pink. So Really? Pink? Yeah. I'm surprised about pink. So I thought it would be like... Blue, pink, purple, I believe. Um, I see purple. I like purple a lot too. Yeah. Purple. So I knew like blue had to be the color. Um, yeah. But yeah, so like we just drew up the logos and then we just like honestly ran off with it from there. Like obviously we both had like our own creative inputs. Like it was your idea to go with like the using the character movements with the programs. That was dope. Yeah. Um, and then you're constantly coming up with new ideas like for your fit, your uh, Instagram videos. Like for those listening, he does like uh, you do a lot of cooking videos and you're always getting creative with that. So like what was your what was your most recent video on? Like what what did you do recently? banana bread yeah (laughs) (laughs) well that's not like super creative but i mean mean, before that it was uh to create uh pokemon uh create dishes based off of the uh, pokemon type so doing like uh grass type the one after by the time this comes out the next one's gonna be next one's gonna be out it's gonna be fire type Mm -hmm. and coming up with stuff like that i think it's just generally fun and it's been it's one of the greatest things about having a business is that you have to use like so many parts of your brain it's like mm-hmm. tiring as fuck. Like, trust me, there's been days where both of us experienced this, where we're just literally at this point, we're used to it. We literally yeah. just yell across the room. It's <laughs> like, Riley's one of the Riley. I'm not doing anything today. Days. I'm <laughs> not doing anything today. I'm just gonna, I need a, I need a, I need a break. I was supposed to do those three videos, but I'm not doing any today. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's, uh, but it's, we understand that we understand each other in that way. It's like, mm-hmm. it's going to get done. It's going to take a little bit, but like the number one thing for us right now is that not necessarily, how fast it gets done mm-hmm. is more of it's it gonna get done yeah and i and trust done well so. yeah and i think in terms of starting a business starting idea creativity and just like even in a small scale if you ever want to not necessarily go full on like we did and get a fucking neon, neon sign, sign yeah. and a podcast and a gym and everything in our room um you know if you ever want to do something small just start throwing videos on instagram mm-hmm. and just getting that creative mindset going again Mm -hmm. it it was probably one of the greatest things to for me as an as Mm. an artist as Mm. in culinary arts Mm. or just in general like because 
the more I think of different dishes in a more interesting way, what would not necessarily what people would like, but what represents me and that people would like, mm -hmm. it, it attracted in diff different parts of my life. Like, mm. makes me more outgoing, makes me more, makes me think about things in a different way, it applies to my own, not just this business, but our actual jobs mm -hmm. as well, like mm -hmm. thinking outside of the box. And I think that forcing yourself to do that makes it, it applies so many things that you don't even think about mm -hmm. that until until you actually sit down like mm -hmm. oh my god i would never would have done this no for sure i was gonna comment on the job thing is like some days i w i don't know how much time we have left but sometimes like i walk into work and like everything's on fire and they're like we don't have a plan for this or like we don't know what we're doing and like sometimes i just sit there and i'm like well have you thought about like just doing something about it because <laughs> sometimes they just run around and they're like i'm gonna wait for someone to tell me what to do and i'm like well, like that's like an, an example of like how I think it's transition is I just come into work some days. I'm like, why don't you just try doing something and see if it works? Like, and then if it doesn't, then try something else until you get something that works. But instead, like, that's not how like the, the at least our job, but most jobs I've been a part of is like, do what your manager says and do what his manager says. And it's not like just do it. But like, I feel like that's something that our business has helped me with is just taking initiative a little bit more is just like, yeah, putting my foot down, especially in my work and just being like, like sometimes I'll tell my boss, I'm like, listen, this is what we're doing. And then he'll be like, okay, cool. And then we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so like sometimes like it just is like some of those moments where I'm just like, okay, like it's not a big deal where we work for a, a stable job right now. Yeah. Like we just figure it out. It's more about taking initiative on like not just work, but a bunch of things. But that's like the example I could think of. I think so. another like your social life too, like just going out there and being okay with just, you know, I think another, another aspect of like how these mindsets of being of starting starting a business and running with a business affects our other lives is like even mm -hmm. your social life dating or not it helps but secondly it's just like reaching out to old friends is unusually weirdly scary mm -hmm. unless unless like but if you sit down and think about all the shit you've done mm -hmm. you're like fuck it just like text them and usually 99 percent of the time it's always like hey i haven't talked to you in a while right yeah. it's like it's usually good yeah it's usually great and but going through that first border or hurl or hurl like it oddly weirdly enough and i kind of want to look into this like why hmm. feels hard hmm. and it also applies in other parts of your life like going not willing to try something new because you feel safe in your bubble yeah like this really helped me expand that and now i kind of almost crave it sometimes Dude, yeah, I was going to say that too is like uh well, I had like a thought and then I'll I'll get back to that, but you know what I find myself doing sometimes, mm -hmm. oddly enough, is I'll still talk to people and I'll be like, yeah, when I'm a business owner someday, I'm going to do this, like thinking like long term and I just sit there and I'm like, wait, I am a fucking business owner. Like yeah. sometimes I like forget because like this is just our lives now. It's yeah. not like something that ever clicks with me, but um, getting back to what you were talking about, I feel like just taking initiative has been like just a key. It's been like pretty key and just like thinking outside of the box and stuff um, in general. Yeah. So. You know, what's my favorite thing I tell people? What's up? This is just as a joke. This is completely, this is true, but not true. Is that technically we can say that we're medical professionals? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. I went up Dr. To, Al. <laughs> I went up to my dad. I was like, dad basically a fucking doctor <laughs> 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 totally right. not totally not but like he's yeah. but you, my family always has the same look of like oh god damn it like <laughs> it's um i don't know it's a, it's a it's a good time and I, it's been a, uh, obviously from what you can tell it's been a little long journey this has took us two years now two years to get yeah, to this point it was like we'll just say it was november of 2020 is like yeah the moment we were like we're doing this because i remember we look in the google drive where we have all our files and it says december it was created in december or something yeah and to give you an idea we've been working on this for two years and it's still not stable we still have to work on we yeah, have to still, we have, still to have, work. have jobs so and just keep that in mind if you ever want to pursue something it's mm -hmm. a you're you're going to be in there for the long run but yeah. eventually it's going to pay its dividends you know no yeah for sure and even right now like the ball's rolling now like this. I mean, this podcast is out. We have like constant, we have continuation on Instagram and TikTok now. Yeah. And we're just now getting onto YouTube. And then like, I'm already talking about Twitch next because like, I'm just like everything set up. I might as well just like go for it now. So like every, all the ball's rolling now. Yeah, definitely. Know? And it's like, just, I, I think another thing that I feel like a lot of people, including us and especially me hmm. have a problem with is that we, 
don't like wait until everything's perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, like you just, just throw something out there. And sometimes you'd be surprised, like the best quote video, best product, best like Mm -hmm. service, best thing (laughs) is the one, is the one that you'd never expect it to do well. Dude, I fucking hate that sometimes too, because I'll work really fucking hard on a video yeah, and it'll get like a thousand views and like 50 likes. And then all, I literally did a video where I just went like this in my bedroom for five seconds and then matched up with an audio and I got like five or 600 likes. I was like, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Bro. I put so much time sometimes into these videos and they get like 50 views and then like I'll just whoop, like I match up an audio for five seconds and it'll like do 10 times better. I'm like, fuck this, dude. You know, the the, the video that did best for me Which is, my, is, the, is the one where I was like, I was legitimately, I kid you not, I came back from a work event and like full disclosure, I was like slightly, I was like tipsy Mm -hmm. and I was like, fuck, I need to get this video out. (laughs) So I like 1 a.m. I pulled up a script, wrote some shit down (laughs) and like recorded it. And that, that video now has 80,000 views. Dude. Oh my God. See, (laughs) I, see, I I love it and I hate it. I love it because like eventually at some point you're like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to make like some five second video I know is going to do good. But at the same time, I'm like, Fuck this shit, because I'm trying to like make good quality content for people, <laughs> but I guess people just want something they can mindlessly scroll to. Mindlessly scroll to. They don't want like a yeah hardcore edited like video. Or, I mean, I you know, know, it's it it's, it it just depends. It, you know, it's a blessing and a curse. That's a, it's a it's a blessing in the sense of like, oh, uh, you know what? That's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Anyways, uh, if you don't know, if you uh, uh yeah, this is our first, our first one. Yeah, this is our first. They episode. don't know. They don't know. <laughs> we take breaks every thirty minutes because of our um. Our camera. Camera. <laughs> but also, it's a good time for us to just breathe and go into the next topic. So uh, mm-hmm. we're, when we get back, I think we'll talk a little bit more about this specific podcast and our future plans and what nice. we plan to go into. And then at the third, and then we have a third break. Third break? Yeah, third break. Mm-hmm. And then we will go into a little bit of a game to know a bit more about who we are as people and what Sweet. our likes are. So peace. Honestly, though, like... That's how like rich people get richer, though. I'm pretty sure it's because they just get the money, and then they're like, "I'm gonna do a bunch of this dumb stuff I wanted to do," and then they start doing it, and they're successful, and they make more money, and they're like, "What the fuck?" You know, one of my favorite like examples of that is there's a um, Joe from JK Films, JK News, mm-hmm. or uh, yeah, uh, Just King Films. They <laughs> he got he got his money. He invested in a lot of he invested in a lot of stuff, and now he's like. He travels the world. He's he's technically homeless because he doesn't really have a secure home. Uh-huh. Or I, I think he just bought one in Vegas. And then he has this. Uh, and then he also just so just for fun owns a mushroom farm. Oh, nice! Like <laughs> Oregon or something or what? Yeah, I don't know exactly where it is, but he ha- but he likes mushrooms, and so like not like huh. the drug, like the actual like he just mushrooms. like finds them fascinating. Or yeah, something. he just he has a mushroom farm. Yeah. He has someone run it, and he goes there and picks mushrooms and helps them farm it. I'm like, bro. Dude, you're one, so cool. <laughs> you're one of he's the make, most. <laughs> he's making money off of it too. So he's one of the most successful YouTubers of all of like like the original generation. And he's like, <laughs> I'm opening a mushroom farm, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Did you know? Um, oh, hold on. You do it. You do it. Wait, actually, no, it's easier when I'm editing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I know those claps are crucial. Oh, God. They they're are. needed. Um, but yeah, did you know Utah is known as the B state? So there's like NBA players that live in Utah. They play for the Utah Jazz and they own like B farms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rudy Gobert got stung in the eye by a bee before a game and couldn't play. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> and they like flamed him on ESPN or on TNT, I mean. But, uh, but yeah, anyways, I did. I did know about that because when I was in Utah, I did not. I was like, why the fuck is there so much honey? Everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Utah it just honey seems kind of random, everywhere. you know, <laughs> like Utah just seems like a random ass state to have bees, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, it doesn't back. seem like. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, it doesn't seem like flowers would grow in a desolate land like the salt flats of utah but yeah. apparently there's bees there so i guess uh by the way that's like kind of an example of like those these tantrums so uh, uh tantrums we'll have on the podcast so just like keep in mind when we're doing this podcast and kind of the whole goal of this pod of like this podcast as i said in the beginning is that we just kind of talk about anything wh- whatever we want to feel like at the time we have topics mm-hmm. that we kind of want to cover especially uh we Spoiler alert, we have guests. Oh, yeah. you. I mean, you'll be able to, like, probably see one video with yeah. a guest if you're watching this. Because so, we'll probably have one out. Definitely. 
Um, but yeah, we, we just plan to have a good time. We have plans to have like everyone from just people from actual, you know, fitness backgrounds and, or people who eventually we want to get people who are like, you know, influential in the mm-hmm. anime gaming community mm-hmm. to be going here. I think superhero we, too. Imagine superhero. how dope that would fucking be to get like, uh, uh like an actor, anybody, any yeah. actor really. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take anyone. <laughs> bro. If you were an extra in Iron Man, we'll take you, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> actually, that would be really fire. Actually. Like, Getting like the stunt double for like Robbie Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, like that would be kind of fun. <laughs> a little, a little, little spoilers. We have people in terms of that side of things. We have esports people coming up. We have yes, someone who managed in who managed a uh, villain in a Marvel, in a Marvel movie. movie. Yeah, and we, then, and we have a dating expert coming on. Well, a Tinder and Bumble expert, I should say. Yeah, it just and then we have uh, plans to have someone who used to be in a formally signed record da- record band. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, who? But yeah, yeah. So that's j- dope. Oh, and also yeah. shout out to um, uh, our the fitness trainer we had last week as well. Yeah, um, Jake as Jake. well. That'll be awesome. So. Yeah, that'll be coming out soon. Uh, and always our third host. All we hear is uh, Umbreon. Yes, our most adorable host, hostess of the most. Uh, yeah, for people who are listening in audio, uh, <laughs> we, we we have a plushie of Umbreon we that we put Umbreon plushie um, right here. put headphones on and put a mic on it. And mm-hmm. the mic is actually sound; it's not like it's not <laughs> muted. I, I just realized that. Yeah. So if this sleeping uh, plushie ever woke up and started talking, you guys would be able to hear him. So. And I'd be scared. <laughs> it's like squishing his face. Yeah. Anyways, um, what we were supposed to talk about in the second half, I already forgot. <laughs> We don't. We we usually don't have like these type of. We for the introductory like podcast, we wanted to have a little bit of structure yeah. to have like an idea of like to tell people. We don't usually do that. We just kind of just kick it. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to ask because yeah, we do have a little bit of structure this time, and we only have like twenty minutes to get it in. So yeah, no, it's uh, it's just we're just like covering. You know, I, I wanted to explain a little bit about our future plans as well as like what's our plans with this podcast and why we chose to do you know for us we wanted to do something that's not serious like you know i feel like there's a lot of podcasts or just like or like content out there that's like serious fitness Mm -hmm. like i'm only telling you the facts about this fitness thing yeah or or they only cover fitness or they over only 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 talk about animes or only review video games and stuff yeah and i think I truly believe that the reason why we have all these other people on there is that, yeah, they are related and they do kind of, I mean, everyone to a certain extent likes a mm-hmm. fucking Like Marvel something. Movie. I mean, everyone likes Star Wars, so it's like yeah, uh, <laughs> anyone I, could speak. Oh, well, sorry. Never. Like everybody except for uh, uh, never, my host here. <laughs> never never watched the original three Star Wars. <laughs> okay. If you don't like Star Wars, you like Star Trek, unless you're Jordan. So there you go. But yeah, anyone, everyone has like a thing that they like. Yeah. You in like, it might not be gaming. Might yeah. not be anime, but then it could be like Marvel or DC, you I, know. So honestly, there was actually an old. Um, I, I don't think I ever told you this. The idea behind doing this podcast came from there was an old YouTube channel that unfortunately is gone now. They, mm. you know, they're it's called SourceFed uh, News. Okay, I used to love watching them, mm. and SourceFed had a had a sister channel called uh, SourceFed Nerd. Oh, wow. Okay. And then they basically just talked anything gaming or anything uh, nerdy or in the or the in the gaming anime movie industry, anything nerdy and something that always stuck with me. And like, I feel like the reason why I wanted to make it specifically in our in terms of our media more free was that it's like we they, they said, and this is a quote from them, um, it's like. We cover these stuff that's more traditionally nerdy, mm-hmm. but you can be a nerd about anything. You want to yeah. be a nerd about sports? Like you are a nerd about sports. That's then true. You're like a nerd about. If you're a nerd about science, then you're a nerd about science. Mm-hmm. Like it's that's the that's the fun part about this is nerd just means someone who's passionate about something. Right. Yeah. And I think that huh. was encompassing something that we I felt like I wanted in this podcast. And I felt like I think you would agree with this too. It's like mm. that's what's fun, you know. That's the fun part about it is like learning mm. what people like. Yeah, that's true. Cause I actually never thought about it like that before. Because like, even like Khalid or yeah, Khalid, the episode that'll be out, Spoilers. he's like, he's <laughs> he, he, he's like obsessed with like algorithms and stuff. Like that's still like him being like nerdy. 
quote unquote over like that type of stuff. Yeah. It just so happens to fall under like Bumble, Hinge, Tinder and like dating apps, but, and other things too, like Instagram. But I mean, like that's like a good point too. I've actually never thought about it like that. So I think one thing is that when you really get in del- delve into some, what some people like, no matter how quote boring the topic is to you, you will find an interesting conversation for sure. For sure. Like, if you we presented this right now saying like the future guest we're gonna have Khalid is like oh he really loves algorithms and stuff mm-hmm. sounds boring initially right You're Dude, that like, episode was one of the most fun exactly. episodes that we've ever done though I would say because that was like super funny when we would talk about like don't do this in your tinder profile but like it was actually funny it wasn't like cringy as fuck it was no. literally like good advice it was like don't hold up well I don't want to spoil it but like yeah don't have certain things in your Tinder profile. And we would talk about like, what they actually had that in their profile. He's like, yeah, "Yeah, let me tell you about it. But it It, was cool. It's, it's fascinating because like, I think in in, like the extreme example of this is like, if you listen to Neil deGrasse Tyson talk about science, it's very different from just trying to learn science at school. Mm -hmm. Cause it's the way he says it and presents is very interesting. And Mm -hmm. that's kind of what I wanted in this, uh, in this podcast. And I'm, and what we originally, what I think is going to be, not necessarily just successful, but it's just going to allow us to do this for a long term is that for all the people who do like just one thing of a podcast or one thing of a, of a, of a type of form of media, right? It's like if there's those guys who do fitness, like, you know, reels online, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, how many times are you, can you talk about pushups or bench oh, presses, yeah. right? I swear I go on some of these fitness. Sorry, I'm not trying to be a hater or yeah. anything because I'm sure they could go on my profile and be like, well, you only do this. But yeah, like, yeah. I'm just saying, like, if you go on a fitness dude's profile, Instagram, a lot of the times it's like the same video and it's cycled three months later of him doing this pushup challenge or like these four different variations of pushups and shit. Um, yeah. but it's like fun to like kind of branch out. I mean, the internet kind of does that to these people too. Like they pigeonhole them into one form of content, but like, mm-hmm. it's just more, it's going to be more fun for us to be able to just not be stuck in one lane and just be like, yeah, we primarily, primarily do this. But if I feel like I want to make like a video about, um, like cooking food for me, then I can do that. Or if you feel like you want to make a food or a video about like, going to hawaii or something like that yeah you should be able to do that too you feel me so. yeah i think it's in the it's starting out it's like it's tough because it like any any form of media platform nowadays will be like oh that doesn't fit in our molds and stuff mm-hmm. like that it kind of go mm-hmm. weird and you'll notice that if you really if anyone who really like plays around with like um with like social media and marketing will will like tell you that too but like i think eventually is going to pay off eventually it's going to pay off in the sense of like there's going to be interesting stuff where like people are going to be finding out that uh there's just going to be more things that we can talk about and have fun with we can bring on more people Mm -hmm. and have interesting conversations about one day we want to do an anime review the next day we want to do a uh video game challenge and the next day we want to do a like an actual like fitness challenge and Mm -hmm. then the next day we do a um more informative nutrition based type of mm-hmm. thing. So that's something I just wanted to explain a little bit about what our future plans, not just for this podcast, but maybe for e- media in general. We're eventually, we're planning, I think probably by the end of this month, both going to start streaming. Yeah. I, uh, I was going to do it actually tomorrow. So, so by end of tomorrow, <laughs> if he doesn't do it, yeah, by tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to do it tomorrow. I actually told, uh, my girlfriend, I was like, I'm doing it on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from here on out. Nice only Tuesdays and Wednesdays for now, but then like, I want to change those days later, but like, yeah. I don't want, I don't want to do it on Mondays cause I'm tired from work and nobody, yeah. and nobody likes Mondays, but like Tuesdays and Wednesdays are good. Cause then like I can get into it, but what's yeah. some, what's some games you want to stream me? Uh, I'm going to start out with basic Pokemon. Cause like, that's what I know and love. So I can just, that's easy for me to like segue in mm-hmm. overwatch two drops. Today's the August, October 3rd. It drops tomorrow oh, at 11, it does, 11 AM. Yeah. So I'll probably play that for a little bit. I feel like everyone's going to play it, but like I want to play it too. Might as well stream it if I'm going to be playing anyways, you know? Yeah. So I'll start with those two. I probably won't do overwatch as much, but I'm going to play it tomorrow or mm-hmm. on Wednesday probably. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll do a lot of Pokemon content. And then obviously like just games I love like persona and stuff comes out later this month. Now persona comes out in three weeks. Are you you're getting the uh, computer? Yeah, I'm getting on. P- I'm getting on both PC and Switch. Dude, so. I I have to re-download that game on Switch. It's man. great, dude. 
Like, on Switch, it would actually be really fun because you could just yeah. take it wherever you go. See, the the thing is, I I have this. I I know like the big thing now is to like have it downloaded onto your like like computer or your console. Mm-hmm. I don't know that feeling of like maybe it's just like my nostalgia old man talking mm. is that like that feeling of holding the like the, the oh like, no i feel it yeah like, like there's something about it like even just like popping it open just mm-hmm. feeling like oh my god this is a new game yeah like, like, i mean the hard copy is the way to go i mean digital copies are convenient but the hard copies are great and then just having it on a handheld device is like nostalgic as fuck dude like yeah i don't know if i have game boy colors still like um yeah. in my room and yeah. like every now and then like once a year i'll bust out the game boy color and i'll just play it like pokemon on my game boy color and i'll be like oh this why does this feel so good like yeah <laughs> there's a, actually okay that, that brings in something that i i we were planning to do i think we'll, we'll let's try let's try a game for some time before the end of the year huh. we're gonna try uh we i mentioned this to riley too is like we both are big fans of pokemon Mm-hmm. If you're not watching, there is literally probably there's like ten plushies here. One, two. There's probably at least five hundred to a thousand dollars worth of like actual Pokemon plush shit. Oh, in terms of money, yeah. yeah <laughs> here on this couch, it's probably like. Uh, well, this one came from New York, so I bought this one like in New York. But yeah. I would say like this sitting here is probably like yeah three to five, and then in my room there's even more. So yeah, and then on top of that, the games we personally own. Us. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, dude. Somebody we told me uh, a original Pokemon black and white cartridge goes for like sixty dollars right now, what? and I have like three of them. <laughs> Why do you have three of them? Because I love that game. I would just pick them up over the years because they'd be like, no one. My friends would be like, I don't want this. I'd be like, okay, I'll take it, and I'll just pick them up. Nice. Like, I have like six copies of Pokemon Emerald. Like, literally. oh my god, <laughs> like Dude, the original box. That's insane. The, not the original box, just the the game. But yeah, um, but yeah. So, what were you gonna say? What Pokemon? Oh yeah, we we have plans to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke Soul Link. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna figure out what what game that is, or maybe that'll be a surprise. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know that if you <laughs> donate any money to me, I will let one of my Pokemon no, so that don't so do that, that Riley <laughs> Riley can lose an Umbreon or something. Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> pick like a fucking. Well, it wouldn't be you picking, I guess, but I'm sure it's gonna be like one of my favorites is gonna die. By the way, his favorite Pokemon are Umbreon, Jolteon. Uh, Clefer- no, Clefairy. Close, close. Not Clefairy. That what was that? The other pink one. That's the big fucker. That's that big fucker. <laughs> the, the one that Chancy. Heals- Chancy. Yeah, Chancy. I love Chancy. Um, <laughs> I love Blaziken. Um, yeah, yeah. I, have, I have a few. So. Yeah. So if he I has any of those on his team, you just gotta pick those. Yeah. Is gonna be. I good. love Cubone, Marowak. I love anything up here. Chestman, Squirtle, Umbreon, yeah, obviously. obviously Eevee. So this is go. actually surprisingly the only Pokemon I like from Sword and Shield. Oh, I, what's the what's the name of him again? Phalanx. 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 Oh, Phalanx. Phalanx yeah, he's a fighting. Type. <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's a fighting type, which is yeah. super weird. Um, but I actually I do like that Pokemon too because oh, they all God, separate. It's so cool. It's like it's supposed <laughs> to be like Spartans and shit. It's like adorable uh, Spartans. It's cute. Yeah. Anyways, um, going back into uh, that's our little tangent into Pokemon because we mm. love Pokemon. But I think let's talk about uh, a little bit about how it feels to be in a Gain XP program. Oh, like how it goes to go through one, how it feels to go through one? Yeah, like what's the what's the plan and how we how are we like, you know, um gonna treat a client and what's the what's their experience gonna be like? Oh yeah, for sure. So it just depends on what the client is looking for too, because we work closely with like whatever their goals are and then also like where they wanna be met because like the original idea was we were gonna be fully online, hundred percent, fully remote, and we were gonna do online training which is still like kind of where we want to sit, but we're opening it up to, to in-person training as well. Um, so if you want to do a free consultation session, cause you're in- interested in free uh, fr- or a free consultation session into a in-person workout routine, you can find that on our website, but we're here in Southern California as well. We're just so I make that clear as well, where we can only do clients in LA, Orange and San Diego County. Yeah. for now but anyways yeah so we would do a free consultation session get to know the individual where their goals are and go kind of go through the program walk them through it and then kind of customize each program based on the level of fitness and health each person is going to be at um, and we're just working closely with them to help them achieve individual goals so if like that goal is to lose body fat then like working towards like a better diet regimen on top of like working out would probably be like suffice i mean that's going to be like kind of the plan for everybody but just like helping people understand too and like teaching is kind of going to be bigger for me is like Mm -hmm. 
we can teach some, like I, I remember we talked to somebody who didn't know what a set and a rep was, which is pretty basic for a lot of people, but like, then like it's not for others. So just teaching people along the way, like mm-hmm. more of the beginners, like what's like a set and a rep and some of the more advanced, like uh, some of the more advanced clients, just like what different workouts can I like surprise the muscles with? Like what's something more interesting that I can do as opposed to like just a regular bench press with dumbbells, you know? Or like what's a different format of a, of a exercise format? Like, okay, let's double up yeah. then certain days or let's do a full body yeah. and something like that. I feel like um, the beginners just want direction. The yeah. master, well, I don't want to say the masters. The the more experienced people want something more creative, something more like to shake it up. Because yeah. I think like, I mean, I'm sure you and I can relate to it, but I could sometimes get tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again. Definitely. Yeah. So it's just important to kind of like mix it up and try new things. And like, it's kind of fun to like be handed. I mean, like for some of the more advanced guys, it's kind of fun to be handed something and just be like, here, go do this. And, like, have them go do it. And they're like, holy shit, that was cool. And it, like, was different. And it, like, got a good workout for me, too. And so. I think internally, like, those the, the people who might have more experience, it's just, like, knowing, oh, shit, like, this is based off my favorite character. Oh, I'm going to yeah. work out like, mm-hmm. my, like Batman. I'm going to work out like Batman. Mm-hmm. It's going to be more of a hybrid program. And adjusting. And certain people might have a perception of they've only bulked. They've only known how to bulk. Mm-hmm. Now they want to try something else of, like, lean bulk or <laughs> leaning out. It's like, okay, let's do that. Mm. Or like vice versa. Some people only did leaning and hit and cardio based, uh, cardio heavily cardio based workouts. Like okay, let's try to build, mm-hmm. let's try to build strength. Let's just do something different just for kicks and fun. Like at the very least for that much, you know. Right, and I think on top of all of that, what we what we how we can like separate ourselves from just like your average Joe down down the street that like comes to your house every week and works out with you. It's like we also have like the entertainment aspect of our business, right? Because yeah. like not only do we interact with these clients, but then like we can play video games with them even. Yeah. We can like have them on streams and stuff. Like we can like get involved with like clients too if that's like what they want. Because like not only are we like fitness trainers, but then we're also like entertainers in a sense too. So like mm-hmm. um, I think it's kind of cool to like mix and match those worlds and kind of bring them into the culture of like what Gainy XP Fitness is all about too. Another thing is like to gamify fitness too for the beginners too. Mm-hmm. Like who may have a hard time finding the motivation and getting that feeling of constantly needing to work out like or or exercise or live a healthier lifestyle is gamifying it. We have side quests. We have experience points. Mm-hmm. And if you win, if you get, uh, if you hit certain experience points, you get a prize and you level up and mm-hmm. like, you know, level up our fitness is like our slogan. Like that is level up your fitness. That's literally what we want to do is like we want you to level up. We want you to level up in whatever way that is for you. Mm-hmm. As well as I think another thing is that I, I think we want to make sure and make it clear to every single person who is coming to us like your health runs first Mm -hmm. before before anything else health is first like i don't want to work on just your physique and everything and it just being and ends up just that Mm -hmm. because like that only is that's a short-term solution for for something right and i mean we talk about this on one of the future episodes with uh jake but um not like over promising and under delivering is kind of key for me. Um, just like not promising something that we can't do. Like, obviously like you're entrusting us with like essentially your health and your livelihood. Mm -hmm. It's on that. uh, It's on the, the, the gainer to like make the decision and to take those action. But we're like setting them up in a direction. We want to make sure it's a good direction to be going in and like, it's going to produce results that they're looking for. Definitely. Um, so just like for me, it's going to be like, okay, this person's like, trusting me to like with their health and their livelihood so like Mm -hmm. i want to do my best job for each person so that's going to be kind of like the mindset always going into it for me so yeah same with me i think um one main one main aspect is that um uh, we'll we we'll go more into it if you're if you uh if you're one of our clients or you want to work with us but just keep in mind i think this is a healthy mindset for everyone to have there's a very big difference. There is a very big difference between being healthy and being physically fit. Mm-hmm. There's a very big difference. There's a mm. there's there's a very clear yeah. line. It does kind of overlap each other sometimes, mm. but that difference is there. And so just keep that in mind as as you like, you know, watch these crazy guys do fucking yeah. <laughs> insane, you know, mm. physical workouts and give you and give you quote um, 
you know, quote advice online. Mm-hmm. So just something to keep in mind. We want to make sure that your health runs first. Yeah. And to that point, like it made me think of a good example too, is like the goal sh- for us anyway, should always be to like live a healthy lifestyle and not focus as much on like having a strong build and physique. And the example I actually thought of was um, a long time ago. One of our mutual friends, Josh Case, actually ex- told me about this. Like, um, there was a fame. I don't. It wasn't famous. He was a just like a, a professional bicyclist, mm-hmm. and he would eat like cheeseburgers every single day. But because he was bi- cycling every single day, he was like shredded and super fit mm-hmm. and like looked really good and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, So it appears to have been like he was in good health, but he was like, he would eat cheeseburgers every day. He'd eat like high fatty beef foods like Mm -hmm. constantly. And he ended up, he eventually actually like passed off, uh, passed away because of like a clotting in one of his arteries Mm -hmm. because of that. But like he had the appearance of being healthy because he was like physically fit. Yeah. But then like when it came time to compete and stuff, like he literally like had uh, like heart issues and stuff. So I think like to your point, like in that example, anyways, it's like, the goal should always be like a healthy lifestyle and then like the physical fit body will come eventually. Like if you just focus on this, yeah, like this will like the physical fitness part of it will come if you just focus on the healthy lifestyle aspect of it. Definitely. And like, there's so many examples of that too. Like just because you look, you look good. It doesn't mean you're, you're healthy inside. It's, and that's, that's something we'll explain and go into more, uh, either in our own media channels uh, in the future with gaining XP stuff, as well as our own, like as well as going very very specifically and you know personalizing it for each each client Mm -hmm. um just before we go on the break i wanted to cover a little bit about what our you know just like talk about what what some of our fitness programs that we have out and what's someone that we're planning to put out uh yeah so the ones we have out right now uh, we've talked about thor my favorite one is batman (laughs) uh because i well we might talk about this in the next half but i love batman um link from legend of zelda Saitama um, from One Punch Man. We have Deku from My Hero Academia. Academia. We have Kratos from God Kratos. of War. Uh, some of the other few, the girl ones are Samus. Samus. Uh, we, we have. Samus. Um, we have I don't Sam- think is Samus out yet. I'm sorry. I think I so. Yeah, Samus is out. Okay, uh, cool. Sailor Moon's out. Sailor Moon. Yeah. yeah. Sailor Moon was fun to work on. By the way, I really like that one because like. Yeah. There are a lot of girls who are like, I want Sailor Moon. Like, I would ask girls every time. I'd be like, who do you want a program based around? Sailor Moon. And I'd be like, okay, but not her. Who else? Because <laughs> <laughs> I need ideas. And, like, every girl wants Sailor Moon. So we're like, fuck it. Let's just throw Sailor Moon up there. Things that Some of the ones that we're planning to put out soon are um, – we're planning to Makoto put Makoto for Persona, Persona 5. 5. I th- that's going to be a really cool one. Eventually, when we get someone who d- is able to do yoga with us, I, th- I really want to do a Katara one. Katara, from, yeah. From Avatar. That could be fun, yeah. That's going to be really cool. Uh, we want to put some more martial arts ones out. I think Bak- we, we're planning a Baki one, but mm-hmm. we want to have a little bit more martial arts expertise. So we really want to stay true to these characters. Mm-hmm. And so there's certain characters we really love and we want to put it, but it's in a back burner until we can find someone who can really coach it. Yeah. So if you're listening and you live in L.A., San Diego, or Orange <laughs> County, and you can, you're a yoga instructor – or you can do like martial level arts. martial arts instructor. Yeah, then hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> DM us on Instagram. Watch this video is gonna be like have tons of views. Like five years from now, we're gonna get random ass messages five years from now. I'm like, hey, watch your first video, and I'm a yoga trainer. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Long after we needed them, but <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, but hit us up if you if you know that if you're like into that stuff or you're a trainer. Leave so. a comment and let us know what other characters you might want to see. Yes, please. Especially yeah. if you think of girl characters please put girl characters yeah that would be female great. characters would be cool it would be sick and um another thing that uh each and don't one the- don't put sailor moon and don't make it the, <laughs> don't, we already have it yeah don't put sailor moon and don't let it be the top liked comment <laughs> but um one thing that we do every single one of the the, the characters that we mentioned have a different type of workout mm-hmm. are planning on different types of uh physical fitness aspects have different goals uh are different levels of difficulty so uh, something to keep in mind when you're, and it'll all explain that on the website. So wanted to exp- uh, go through that a little bit. Uh, I think the f- last part is going to be a little bit more fun. We're just going to be playing game as a uh, two roommates, business partners, friends for seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Call so, uh, frat bros too. Frat bros. <laughs> Brothers. That'll, yeah. that'll be a story for another time. <laughs> 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 all right. Cheers guys. All right. Bye-bye. So like I said before, oh yeah. Welcome back. 
Yeah. I, I think I've forgotten We're that. We're so good at this. <laughs> I've forgotten to say that. episodes in. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've forgotten to say that three times in this podcast. It's okay. No worries. <laughs> I don't, I don't give a fuck. No, it's all it's it's all good. Honestly, it's it's whatever. The, like I said, this is this is gonna be just chill. Um, so like I said, we had a little uh, we're, we're having a little game here, and uh, to be honest, me and Riley have done this game like f- three times mm-hmm. to, to <laughs> with was, varying uh, different questions. Yeah, the first time we recorded the first podcast episode, we tried doing this game. It three was, times it was fun but it never recorded <laughs> yeah it never recorded and it just was not where we wanted it to be with quality so we're gonna try it again um and then the second time just wasn't there either and it was just, mm-hmm. and then now we're just doing it again a little bit more chill just yeah. so the whole point is one just to get us get to know us a little bit more as your hosts mm-hmm. and two um to try to fuck each other over there's gonna be yeah. some sort of punishment. We he wants f- there yeah. to be a punishment, so because we're look, gonna have to do something. This is this is gain <laughs> XP fearness. Fearness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! If the punishment was like face your biggest fears, I would hate that. You would just like get a bunch of spiders out, and I would just like vomit everywhere. So I'd get, cry. This is gain XP fearness. We just there's only suffering. Only pain. There's only saver. There's only Jordan suffering. Al and Riley hurts. I mean, suffering. It's, 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 <laughs> remember, Al it hurts. Al it hurts. <laughs> So how this is gonna work is that I'm gonna say a question. We're gonna we're gonna try to guess each other's uh, thing. So for example, just as an example, it's like, oh, what's your like, what's each other's favorite anime? And then we write and it down. I'm gonna write what I think Jordan's is, and he's gonna write what he thinks my favorite anime is. Yeah. And then we're gonna show each other, and we're gonna talk about it. Yep, basically. Um, just I guess we'll, we'll, let's do that real quick as a practice round, just so that people can see. Because mm-hmm. I already asked the question. Yeah. All right. So what's our favorite anime? Okay, so I'm guessing yours. Yeah, you're guess. guessing mine. I'm guessing yours. Okay. Shit. All right. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're this. supposed to write it. <laughs> hold, on, hold on. Hold on. I know this. I know this. I know this. Uh, what was that? <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess this. Oh, we got to write big. Oh, well, I'll, for this first time, for in the future, we got to write big, but I wrote small on mine, so. Yeah. In case you guys can't see, I'll read it. All so right. three, three, two, one. one. Let's go. go. All right, that is mine. Uh, so his says Jordan wrote Cowboy Bebop, and that oh, is yeah. my favorite anime. And then Riley wrote Fate Stay Night, and it is not. Okay, it's Fate Zero then. Nope. It's Fate Apocrypha. <laughs> it's not Fate. It's one of the Fates. No, <laughs> it's not it is. Fate. It's not Fate. <laughs> All no. right, what is what's your favorite anime? Uh, Steins Gate. Oh, I love <laughs> Steins Gate. We watched, it, we watched, yeah, we it, watched together, it together, Riley. Yeah. We watched it I together. Thought, I thought you were going to pick Fate because you're such a big Fate guy. Uh, yeah, you're spoiler literally. Alert, I am literally the biggest, one of the biggest Fate sims. Yeah, he I is. Love, I love Fate. Do All we right. have a wash away towel thing that I can use? Uh, Actually, we have a dry erase marker. All right, uh, pause. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, no worries. We're back. Um, So that was an example. So that one doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> You he, win. you said it, not me. So I'm holding you accountable for that. Um, I was so, so expecting you to get that. Yeah, well, I fucking it was easy to mix up. You read a ton of manga too, so like, there's a lot of options to pick from. That's true. I do read a, a fuckload of manga. Mm-hmm. I'm the anime. I'm the manga boy. Plus, I feel like Fate's my default on every answer <laughs> for anime with you. It's like, what's your favorite soundtrack? Fate. What's All right. Your on favorite? that note, what's it? What's uh? What's each other's favorite anime opening? Anime opening. Up an okay. anime opening. So I'm gonna write yours then. You're that's that's mine. an actual question that we're gonna do right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Favorite anime opening. Favorite anime opening right now. <laughs> I'm trying. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I. All right. Just to make it absolutely clear, I'm. I'm gonna also write my answer down on the bottom, so that. Uh, I I hope it's this. I'm, I'm between like three, and I'm hoping is this one. Okay. All right. You ready to reveal? All right, three, three, two, two one. one, go. Okay. Oh fuck! It was that one. I kn- yes. Did I get yours? Did I get yours? Cowboy Bebop. No. All right. Well, I wrote Spy Family very small. Was it that one? Too? Really? Yeah. Sp- your favorite Spy Family? No, I was asking you if yours is. Oh, mine is. Fa- no, it's not. Oh, okay. Spy Family ending might be my favorite ending ever. Okay. So, what's your favorite opening? I wrote down the bottom. It's the Pokemon opening. Oh no, no. See, like. <laughs> 
I used to love the Pokemon opening, but then it's so overplayed now. I'm like, but holy shit, dude, you crazy. cannot deny that is like the the god know, tier like, of of po- of like uh, anime songs. There's so many good Pokemon openings, and everyone plays like the first, the first one. one and I'm like, I, okay, there is ah. there's a lot of there's a lot of really good. Anyways, uh, I wrote Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer season, season two. two. Is your favorite? Um, so my favorite anime opening is actually Gintama's. Really? Opening. Yeah, I love Gintama's opening. The the closing is funny too, but yeah. um the opening uh song for gintama is my my favorite uh, i don't know if you know i haven't really been keeping updated but i'm super far along gintama now yeah you've been you've been on gintama for a minute would yeah. you consider that like one of your top anime now dude it's really good um like what i like about it is it's like it's an episode by episode anime so like we could watch like episode 32 together and yeah it would still be funny and entertaining you wouldn't need to know anything yeah um, so it, it's like in the day of the life of these people who like are broke and they need to make money, kind of like Cowboy Bebop, how oh, they're yeah. broke and they always look to make money. So these yeah. same situation, just like how we are, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like real life, you yeah. know. <laughs> um, so Gintama is like day in the life, tried to make money, yeah. and they're they are this group called the Odd Jobs Group or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they pick up odd jobs to do for payment. Yeah. Um, and so what I like about it is it's every single episode teaches like a life lesson essentially. (laughs) So like, um, (laughs) so, but it's like stupid and funny because like it's satire. So like they'll teach a life lesson about like how you should never smoke and it like ruins your life or some shit like that. Yeah. And at the end, the main character will like be smoking or some shit. He's like, yep, smoking's bad for you. (laughs) And just like throw the cigarette away or some shit. Yeah. That's not an, uh, in actual episode but that was just the first thing i could think of but yeah. it teaches like life lessons and they're actually good life lessons too it's like don't get caught up in gambling and then like at the end like everyone gets caught up in gambling yeah, but, like, yeah. it's super fun i love it i but, think uh I, another answer i probably would have accepted is i think that the, the theme or the game or the opening i find myself listening to the most is just in general, the Fate Zero like soundtrack between even season one and season two mm-hmm. is just absolutely fire. Fate like, Zero does have a great opening. This is the greatest. It's one of the best <clears throat> openings in my opinion. Another one that actually is really good that you didn't watch, and I, I I think it's really cool for like a completely different reason is um taxi. Is it Taxi Driver? No, that's like the movie. It's um the Walrus Taxi. The Walrus Taxi one. I think it's Taxi Driver, but. I, I, I need to I need to remember, but it was a it was I'm gonna look it up real quick as I'm talking about it. It's so good. It's so it's so different, um, and it's so unique. It's like a odd taxi. Odd, odd taxi. taxi. Odd taxi nice. is really good. I highly recommend it. If you ever get a chance to watch it, watch it. It's only 12 episodes. Amazing. Nice. All right. Uh, going on to our next question of the day is. Why did I close my phone when I looked up the <laughs> You're good. When I looked it up. All right. Uh, what's your favorite actor slash actress actor, in general? Actress. Actor Fuck, actress. this is hard. Okay. I know mine. Like, oh, I'm guessing yours. I almost wrote mine. Dude, I don't know <laughs> yours. <laughs> <laughs> I almost wrote mine and then, like, revealed it. Um, yeah. Who's your favorite actor, actress? Honestly, this should be super easy. I think I might know yours. You always talk about this person, so I'm trying. If it's not this, then I have a good reason for. I'm going off a. I'm going off on a limb here, like a heavy fucking limb. Okay, I've got mine. Uh, you always talk about this actor as well. Yeah, you. So you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I feel like you're gonna get it. It's one of two. Okay. One of two. <laughs> I have a 50-50 chance. Yeah, fifty because I always talk about these two actors. But right. anyways, I'm gonna let's go. Ready? Oh, I just thought of the other one. All right, hold on. Ready? No, three, okay, three, two, two one. one, go. Oh no, that's not mine. I put Robert Downey Jr. It is Robert Downey Jr. Yes, finally I got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, who do you think it was if it wasn't Chris Pratt? Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, well, I like, do like not, yeah, I do you, like Arnold though. As like a fitness thing, but not yeah. like an actor. Um, my favorite actor is Ryan Reynolds. Oh fuck! Yeah, <laughs> because fuck. Oh, fuck. like I was, but my two were between Ryan Reynolds and Michael B. Jordan. I like Michael because he's like the epitome of what society deems as like the fitness, like 
stud, but he's like a secret weeb. Like I love that. Like he watches anime and shit. That and hurts then, me so much. I fucking knew it was Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I, I love Ryan, Ryan Reynolds because those that don't know, I'm I love gin. Like I like I just like to collect and drink different types of gin and taste test them and make cocktails. And he has aviation gin as yeah. his like brand and he's also just a funny dude so i just respect robert downey jr i think all of, I, I love all of his movies more or less what, so what do you think everyone always brings up the tropic thunder like uh scene where he does like the blackface oh yeah uh and it, right back then it was more acceptable but do you feel like uh like that's still like funny and like people could watch that and it'd still be acceptable and shit or what do you think i don't think it's okay so i think it's acceptable to a certain audience it definitely has to still be rated r yeah. I think it's just that nowadays people take it too much at face value. Mm-hmm. I mean, the whole point of it, the whole movie, the whole literal movie of Tropic Thunder and why it's funny is that it's a parody of people in movies. Oh, is that? I've never seen it. So Tropic, I just know that one scene. So Tropic Thunder is all of these actors, <laughs> like all these famous actors, Jack Black, uh, Robert Downey Jr., playing actors playing a movie. Oh, no way. So Jack Black's in it too? Jack Black's in it. Robert Dude. Downey Jr. is in it. I forgot who else is in it, but like, because this movie came out so long ago. It's super fun. I think Ben Stiller's in it. I might be wrong. It's super funny. Nice. And it's funny because I think they are talking about all th- – uh, they're, they're parodying stuff, but uh-huh. everything in there is supposed to be is, – is supposed to be – it's still things that we agree with today. Mm-hmm. It's just presented in a parody. And But people take parodies and movies too much in face mm-hmm. value. I see. So when he did the blackface, it was supposed to be making fun of people – or actors who get too into their character. Oh, was it? Yeah, oh. it's supposed to be okay. a it's supposed to be a parody of people who get too much into their character and to like method acting to the point where it's too where it affects their life. And so it's he's playing in Robert Downey Jr. is playing an Australian actor who's playing a black who's playing a black who's guy. Who's playing a black guy? <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. that makes sense then. Yeah, yeah because yeah. I have no feelings or I don't feel any type of way towards it. I was just wondering what you thought about it. I think I think if people just watch the movie and think of, and don't like think about it as a parody which mm-hmm. it's supposed to be a parody it's a comedy parody and mm-hmm. if it's since if you look at it that way it makes total sense and it's h- completely hilarious nice. even still this day okay but that's just my thoughts on it cool well yeah robert that, that i feel i felt like that one was easy for me because i'm like dude you literally talk about robert Downey it's my Jr. favorite movie too sherlock holmes is my favorite and specifically robert downey jr version of sherlock holmes iron man's also awesome it's great yeah, yeah. literally made for him um favorite song to work out or currently pump up song current current like right now i will let's let's make it a little bit easier let's guess the song but like mainly let's guess the artist mainly okay yeah we can mainly guess artists that's cool mainly guess artists fuck you haven't told me shit about your (laughs) yeah i'm trying to think this might be easier for you um think jordan all right you know what fuck it uh, I'm going to say this. I know I'm wrong, but it should be your answer. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're going to put. It's probably the same thing I put. <laughs> All right. Three, Ready? Three, two, one, one. Go. Oh, you put slander? I, I put pop smoke for you. Okay, so Jordan put slander for me, which and he put, put pop and I smoke. put pop smoke for Jordan. Which is both. Uh, it's wrong for me. It's sl- slander's not yours, is it's it? It's not mine either, but I do like some slander. Yeah. Um, you recently a new, new album. I haven't heard it yet. It's really good. I'm actually all the excited, songs are though. banger. I'm all excited. the songs are bangers. Um, so you go first. Who's your pump up right now? Right now, just because I went to Imagine Dragons concert. Oh, I it's see. Ju- it's just bones from Imagine Dragons. Just fucking gets me. It gets me in the mood. Uh-huh. There's also this like this. Is, it's not a popular song on their album, but like Giants, Sleeping with Giants, mm-hmm. super fun, super nice. cool one. That one's a good one. Yeah, I would say, um, and I'm going to get hate for this because I always get hate for this, but Drake is my go-to at the gym. Um, like, especially, like, those amp-up Drake songs, like, Wants and Needs and, like, No Friends in the Industry. Like, I love those How songs. How is it so not much. Kanye? Kanye now, has more hype-up songs is, than, like... But, like, Kanye is always on rotation, but I, we're, I thought we were talking about, like, currently. Like, I'm right now, I'm listening okay. to, to Drake right now because, like, I just love, like his like the bass and the songs and his beats are like super fire but yeah kanye is like always recent drake or like old drake uh all of it like uh, i like recent too um i'm not afraid of saying that either even though his like his re- recent albums haven't that been that bad actually like Pops, they're okay yeah pop smoke is always fire yeah he's always rotating too i haven't been as much recently but yeah um but usually he is so definitely all right next one is uh Okay, also on a side note, another one that gets me hyped in terms of just, like, working out. Mm. 
I've been I, I I've been playing Genshin a lot recently. Oh, okay. and uh, the the boss music for Genshin is goddamn legend. It's amazing. It's, it's insane because nice. they got like a tr- like they, they, to record it they got a symphony to actually play it. Oh, sick! And okay. so it's like it's just a choir and epic, Dude. like an actual in person one. It's like oh it's my God, fucking that's insane. So, cool. so all right, anyways, that's another one that I was just like. Because when you listen to, like, boss music or, like, Avengers music, you're just like, mm-hmm. fuck it. I'm just in the mood. <laughs> Dude, I wanted to um, I want to go see the Pokemon Orchestra, but they toured, like, a while ago, and I oh. missed my opportunity. But I'm waiting for them to come back. Cause Dude, they, that would have been sick. They do, like, boss music in orchestra form, too. Oh, that would have been sick. To listen to, like, the champion music live. Yes. Oh, God, yes. that would have been amazing. All right. That would have been cool. Let's do, uh, <laughs> let's do two more. And then I think we'll, and then not necessarily we'll end it off, but we'll see where we're at in terms of time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, um, let's do video game we've spent the most hours on. Okay. All right. You got it. I'm pretty sure. You saw me? No, I just, it's a long one. And so I was like, okay, yeah, I think you got it. Um, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Let's go. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> this is yours, yeah? Age of Empires so technically, 3. Technically, no. Technically, oh, I, I thought the technique. No, I, I thought right. about it too. It's actually, all right. What is it then? Fake Grand Order. Oh, okay. I, you <laughs> know what? That is a game. You're right. That so. is. That is. I like. So I. So people that are, are looking, I put for Jordan Age of Empire three because and that's the the not technically right answer. I. I um, it's. And then uh, you put Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon which is Emerald like, is true. Yeah, that's it's guaranteed to be like my top because I, I've like literally maxed out like two game cartridges and it maxes out at like 9,900, no 999 hours on each cartridge. Jesus. So I maxed out two cartridges and I've restarted like a bunch of times on different cartridges. Mm-hmm. My second is Dota two. I put 2,500 hours in Dota two, Yeah. but like Pokemon Emerald, I've put in like 4,000 hours or or more. I think so. with age of empires three, including the deluxe version, I put, probably around 2000 nice 2000 plus 2500 or something hours in there mm-hmm. there's a lot of fucking hours in there mm-hmm. but re- i'm i don't know the exact hours because fate doesn't like doesn't count it yeah but dude i've been playing that game for non-stop not necessarily non-stop but like but just like, like consistently consistently for two years two and a half years maybe three yeah going on since since we lived in whittier yeah okay i mean i'll accept it uh, <laughs> I'm just not going to be happy about it. <laughs> I mean, like, like, like I thought about, like, I was going to say you're right. And then I thought about it and I was like, oh, actually, it's okay. technically. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to qu- take a quick break to check on the camera and then um, see where we're at. And then go from there. Ciao. All right. Bye-bye. Welcome back to the last section of the uh, who wants to be a roommate. Oh, is the next <laughs> question about being roommates? Uh, no, actually. Oh. <laughs> 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 Who is your roommate? And Who I'd is be- your roommate? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably fuck it up still. I'd probably write my own name. Chip Michael. <laughs> or I'd write your name. Chip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the next, we have two more questions on this quiz, and then uh, we're just going to call it off there. Um, I think that's fair. It was, a, it was always a little bit more chill, uh, this one. Mm-hmm. So, uh, next question is, what's your favorite supervillain, or what's nice. my favorite supervillain? Okay, what's yours? Yeah. And then um, I ask what I answer yours. I'm gonna um, take a second to think of my own real quick because there's a couple of good ones. Um, I'm going with. Okay. Well, I know. Yeah. Okay. I think I know mine actually. Mm-hmm. And so you, yeah, I know mine, and I think I might. I'm gonna guess what yours is right now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna think of. Okay, so. All right. <coughs> God, I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna hate you if this is wrong. <laughs> if it's wrong. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Oh shit! I th- might have just shown mine to the camera. Oh well, whatever. I think it's gonna be wrong because I I, I feel like I have an idea of what you're gonna say. But. Okay. I actually don't know if I spelled this right. All right, three, two, two one, one, go. Woo. Uh, yeah, that's mine actually. Really? I like sweet. S- I like Scarecrow. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I thought you were gonna say the 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 Riddler. No, I like Scarecrow more than the Riddler. Yeah. It had to be a Batman villain. Yeah, it had to be a Batman villain. I picked yours as a Batman villain because <laughs> everyone likes the Joker, so I was like, okay, I'm picking the Joker for Jordan. So. Yeah. Who's your like, favorite villain? 
the Joker is definitely is probably the it's probably my favorite in terms of like comic books. It's okay. just it's just the most fascinating villain, I think, in my opinion. Okay. Just because of the motives and is the mystery behind it. Uh, fun. I th- I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I feel like I get the same vibe. <laughs> is that uh, I think the Joker, and I'm not sure. I think that part of the Joker is inspired by the Sherlock Holmes villain of Moriarty. And I think I don't know. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> I'd that, have no idea because they have the same dynamic. Oh, do they? Are they, they both want, like crazy or something? Or what? no, like not. They're not crazy, but they have that same kind of uh, dynamic where the Joker has this feeling of like, I I'm doing this to fuck with you, <laughs> and like mm. there's kind of there's kind of like there's always this kind of relationship with them, and I feel like the Batman Joker have a closer superhero and supervillain relationship than any other like uh. you know uh hero and villain and i feel like i say, get that same type of like intertwined mm. like mm. banter with uh sherlock holmes and Moriarty. Yeah. they well, like the, the mm. like basically they're smart in two different ways and kind of going at each other and that's why i like the joker and batman because that relationship of the joker is crazy but he's smart crazy yeah you know i was actually gonna say was um one of the scenes he joker is like without me like you wouldn't even exist because like yeah. you need each other kind of thing yeah to that exists or whatever so yeah that idea i think because of that idea i i feel the same vibes and moriarty is also one of my favorite villains but he's not he's not like a comic book movie mm-hmm. i guess but like it's he's also one of my favorites just like the idea of two intellectual people just going at each other in yeah. a certain way is really interesting that's fun yeah, yeah. can i have the, the eraser Woo. all right Cool. Last question. Last question of the day. All right. What's our last question is, what is our favorite cheat meal? So I guess yours, you guess mine. And and here's another thing. Uh, this will segue into the fact that we have a cheat meal podcast episode coming out. If we can find it. If we can find <laughs> it. <laughs> it's lost. It's lost it? somewhere. <laughs> if we somewhere can find, inside if the If we files. can find it, you guys will definitely see that. <laughs> yeah, we had we had a delicious we I think that's gonna be a running series on here. It's just like we're just we'll we'll t- we'll have our cheat meals. I think cheat meals cheat meals are important. Cheat meals are important, guys. Let me think about my cheat meal is because honestly I don't know. Okay. How that, come I have an idea of yours before you have Because <laughs> my my palate has changed since we've done this. Like I've been like more of a foodie, believe it or not. Like I go out and I actually try a bunch of different things now. Is that more because of Lindsay or because of me? Uh, it's just like both, probably. <laughs> <laughs> to that barbecue spot, you took. I can't stop talking about it. Jordan took us to this fire barbecue spot over the when we after, after we saw a Padres game in uh, North Park area. It was so good. Uh, Grand, sorry, Grand Old Barbecue. If you ever get there, super good. Get the brisket. That's very the yummy. But I can't read the menu though. It's like un. Unre- it's. I, you can't read it. Yeah, it's an old school <laughs> menu, so you have to grab like a. They, they have a Q QR code, or you have to grab like the like a to go or a menu they have. Um, like they give physical menus. All right, hold on. I'm writing it. I am like a good. If you if this is wrong, <laughs> it's, you cannot tell me this is wrong because I feel like I've seen I've seen you with this on your cheat days, okay. like every single time. Yeah, you ready? All right, three. Three, two, one. Let's go. go. Yeah. So I'll accept it. <laughs> um, just burrito in general. Oh, yeah. just burrito. But yeah, I like Cal- I love California burritos too. Yeah, that was like that was like I do it. I think I see you with a burrito every mm. time. I put like African food. I didn't know what to put. I put, <laughs> I, I put foods of East Africa because we always, always see you eating there. But <sighs> what it what actually is it? Riley, you, you actually had it. You said it before you wrote it down. Did I? Barbecue. You would put barbecue. Barbie. Oh my god! Barbecue is my fuck. W- one of my <laughs> top three favorite foods of all time. Fuck, because it's so good. It's probably my top three too. You literally, I was like, I, it's like this man has it. <laughs> <laughs> he was literally talking about it. We were literally talking Touché, about it. Touche, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we were literally talking about it at the moment. I was like, oh, this guy has it. He's just fucking with me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious i'm pretty sure you won but whatever i i honestly don't know we'll let them decide in the comments what the punishment is please because you're gonna pick something evil like <laughs> we're fitness people 20 push-ups per wrong answer i think is fair per wrong answer okay per wrong answer so i'm doing like 120 then <laughs> i'm doing i'm probably doing like 100 something 
Yeah. We're probably we're, 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 we're famous people. We gotta do a hundred something. Yeah, it's fine. All right, it's whatever. All good. We'll figure it out. Uh, anyways, thanks for joining us for our the first podcast. Gonna be out, not our first one of us shooting it, but like, thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed, and we have we, this time was a little bit more structured. We wanted to introduce a bit more about who we are and what we do and what are what we're about. But um, I think. Um, but the future ones are a little bit more, you know, it's going to be more just us kicking back, having fun, bringing some people along, talking about random shit. Um, as well as like sometimes it's going to be a little bit more uh, formal and educational. But in general, we just we just like talking. And we hope that you guys enjoy hearing our voices. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, we're still going to be dropping episodes every week. So just love it or it hate it. Anyways. <laughs> love it or hate it. It's still happening because I actually enjoy it. So, yeah, we, we, we have fun with this and. In a, in a way, it's its own passion project within our passion project. So, mm-hmm. well, uh, appreciate your guys' time. Look out for uh, this is dropping within probably within the week we're shooting this. Yeah, by yeah. like the end of the week. Today's Monday. Yeah, so end of this week, Monday, October second. So. Yeah. Also, here's are my plugs. Here's my <laughs> tags. Um, and the Gaining XP Fitness as well. So make sure to follow myself, which is Doggo Exp. And then the main game EXP Fitness channel on Instagram, TikTok, TikTok. YouTube, a Twitch, and that's all I can think of. Don't mind the massive sign of Facebook. California. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, uh, MySpace. Don't yeah. mind the California burrito sign, but all of my tags, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, um, Instagram's all under George or underscore EXP. Yeah, it's gonna that be that. Underscore is vital though. Yeah, it's uh, it's vital. Doggo There's probably someone else's George or. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. All right. Well, I, as I said before, I appreciate your guys' time. We I hope you enjoyed this as much as we do, and we're gonna keep making it either way. So you fucking listen to it. Yep. Peace. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>